The U.S. Army is pushing forward with a major update to its mobile air defense arsenal, signaling a decisive shift in how it plans to combat increasingly complex aerial threats. In June 2025, the Government Accountability Office, GAO, reported that the Army's Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense, MSHORAD, Increment 3 initiative is entering a critical phase. Central to this upgrade is the introduction of the Next Generation Short-Range Interceptor, NGSRI, a cutting-edge replacement for the decades-old FIM-92 Stinger missile. Developed under the fast-tracked middle tier of acquisition framework, NGSRI is expected to deliver superior accuracy, greater reach, and enhanced lethality to counter threats like nimble drones, cruise missiles, and low-altitude aircraft. At present, MSHORAD platforms are mounted on Stryker A1 8x8 vehicles and come armed with a robust mix of weapons, for Stinger missiles, two Longbow Hellfire launchers, a 30mm XM914 cannon, and a 7.62mm M240 machine gun. These systems are enhanced by integrated radar and EO-IR sensors that allow for autonomous tracking and engagement across a full 360-degree range. However, field performance has revealed drawbacks, particularly with the side-mounted Hellfire missiles. Harsh operational conditions and constant vibration have compromised the Hellfire's structural integrity, leading to mounting concerns about safety and reliability. To address this, the Army is phasing out the Hellfire system from future variants and will instead double the Stinger loadout to eight missiles per vehicle. This change streamlines maintenance, increases operational endurance, and reduces complexity in logistics. But the real game-changer is the pending replacement of the Stinger missile itself. While the Stinger has served reliably since its introduction in the early 1980s, its technology has fallen behind modern demands. With a max range under 5 km and a limited guidance mode, it struggles against fast-evolving aerial threats that are smaller, stealthier, and more agile. Enter the NGSRA, an interceptor built from the ground up to meet the needs of the 21st century battlefield. Designed with multispectral seekers that may blend radar, infrared, and optical tracking, the NGSRI is expected to operate effectively even in contested environments full of decoys and jamming. Its engagement range is projected to exceed 6 to 8 kilometers, with improved agility that allows it to chase down and eliminate even high-speed targets. The warhead is anticipated to be more destructive, possibly using focused fragmentation or advanced blast mechanisms tailored for modern threats. Alongside missile enhancements, the Army is working on new 30mm ammunition to better support the MSHORAD platform. This next-gen round is engineered to offer greater precision and terminal effectiveness, adding another layer of protection that reduces dependency on missile systems alone. The GAO report notes that MSHORAD Increment 3 is scheduled to move into low-rate production in fiscal year 2028. This milestone will mark its transition from prototype to deployable weapon system, as the Army races to outpace evolving airborne dangers. Once fully implemented, the upgraded MSHORAD Inc. 3 vehicle will represent a significant leap forward in mobile air defense capability. Equipped with the NGSRA new ammunition, and a revised launcher configuration, the system is designed to deliver unmatched protection for U.S. ground forces in high-risk combat zones. The modernization reflects a broader strategy, to build a flexible, layered defense network ready to dominate the skies of tomorrow's battlefield.